Creating your happy place. Visualization is an incredibly powerful tool that you can use during self-hypnosis, meditation, or even creative pursuits. Either way, when performed correctly, you can use it to simulate an environment or stimulus almost as though you were there, and to thereby fool your brain into thinking that whatever you're imagining is real. This then can be used to experiment, to remember things, or to calm yourself down. It's that latter use that we're going to be dealing with here, which can be specifically achieved by visualizing a happy place. This is a place that you can go to in your mind's eye that will make you feel calm and at ease. This can be used on its own for therapeutic ends, or it can be used to get yourself into a calm and suggestible state for self-hypnosis. What should a happy place be? When you inevitably get to the point on a hypnosis script where you're told to go to your happy place, it can be jarring and even stressful if you don't know where that is. To start with then, how do you choose where your happy place is? The first thing to do is to think of what automatically comes to mind when you think happy place. For some people it might be a forest, for others a tropical beach, for others a quiet log cabin. Whatever comes to mind immediately, that can be a good thing to start with. Don't try and force it. If nothing comes to the fore, then you can also try asking yourself questions. For instance, when was the last time you felt truly happy or truly calm? Or is there a place you often go to in real life in order to calm down? Bringing your happy place to life. Once you've got an idea of at least what your happy place is like, you can then go about bringing it to life and making it as real as possible. One way to do this is by drawing on real experiences you've had to color the image in your mind. You can even base the happy place on a real place you frequented. Another strategy is to try drawing your happy place. This is a good way to decide on the physical dimensions and layout, which can help keep the space more real in your mind. Don't forget to concentrate on your other senses, though. Populating your happy place with sounds and smells will make all the difference.